Welcome to the Banner Mobility Assessment Tool, or BMAT Learning Video. You will see a demonstration of the BMAT and learn how to integrate this into your daily nursing assessment. Mrs. Malone, it's Amber, your nurse. May I come in? Yes, come in. How are you feeling today? Doing better today. Good. I need to do your nursing assessment. It's going to be a little bit different today. I need to check and see how you move, if you need any equipment. We want you to safely move, and um, this mobility assessment will give me that information. Does that sound okay? Sounds fine. First of all, do you use a walker or a cane or crutches when you're at home? No, I was perfectly good until my appendix exploded. Okay. All right, sounds good. So the very first step of the assessment, I want you to get up and put your legs over the edge of the bed, and you can use the side rail or the bed if you need to, but I can't help you. So if you can't do it, it's okay. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Good job. I know you're in pain. You're doing great. Can you shake my hand? Nice to meet you. Nice again. to meet you too. I was just checking your balance and you're actually doing really well. I'm going to go ahead and listen to you while you're sitting up. Any difficulties with your breathing? Just a little coughing. Take a deep breath. This was assessment level one. Use the opportunity to complete other pieces of your daily nursing assessment. Great, everything sounds really good. I'll go ahead and feel here. Okay, the next step of the assessment, I want you to stretch and point. So you're gonna stretch your foot out, point and flex. Do you think you can do that? Yeah. Great, how about with the other foot? This was assessment level two. Remember, your patient must complete the stretch and point on at least one limb. If your patient has physical limitations to one side, such as a recent surgery, wounds, or weakness from a stroke, for example, you may proceed to the next level if your patient is able to complete stretch and point with one leg. To ensure safety, obtain a walker, cane, or crutches for the next level of assessment if needed. Good. Looks like your swelling's gone down today. That's good. That's great. Okay, the very next step of the assessment, I want you to bear weight on your legs. You don't have to stand up all the way and you can push off the bed, but I want you to bear weight on your legs. I will count to five. Sound good? That sounds good. All right, go yeah. ahead. One, two, three, four, five. You can go ahead and stand or sit, whichever you prefer. I think I'll stand. Sounds great, you're doing really good. This was assessment level three, stand. If your patient passes the assessment, proceed to assessment level four. The next step is marching in place, so just like it sounds, I want you to march in place. Ready? Okay. Like that. Perfect. Now, the very last step and then we're done. I know you're tired. I want you to step forward, step back, step forward, step back, okay? All right. Perfect. Okay, you look really stable. You're doing great. You can sit down. You are what's considered mobility level four. It's also called independent. So while you don't need any assistive equipment to walk, I would still prefer if you called us. We don't want you to fall while you're in the hospital. Some of the medications, the surgery, all of the things going on here can make you a little bit more unstable. So if you need to get up, push your call light. I'll come in, one of the CNAs will come in, and we'll help you get up and go to the bathroom or go for a walk or sit in a chair. Does that sound good? Sounds like a good plan. Okay, do you have any more questions? No, I think I will just rest right now. Okay, that sounds good. All right, thank you. This was assessment level four, walk. Remember, the nurse must continue to consider fall risk and take all necessary measures to promote patient safety. Remind the patient to call, don't fall. This is the conclusion of the Banner Mobility Assessment Tool, or BMAT. Please refer to your facility's safe patient handling specialist, clinical educator, safe patient handling champion or RN manager for further questions or additional training.